So look, as we get new members and new subscribers and more views here, which trust me, we're going to just keep getting more, not less. I need to revisit what we do here. I just need to reiterate what this channel is about. Um, and I don't want to have to wait for something to trigger that. I'm being proactive. Um, so on this channel, we cover political news, not necessarily politics, although the latter is by definition related to the former. So it comes up. We do talk about politics. But when I have on interview guests, it's generally covering political news. I want to talk to the people that do the news. We also do art and comics. And so one major goal of mine is to combine those and to figure out when those things meet. We have a comic book creator coming on in January who is doing very political work with his comics. This is perfect. This is what I think we all should be exposed to in terms of having unique content. So these are my goals. It's a good natured, good faith platform. Sometimes people will suggest that I have a guest on, but say that I should not do a quote unquote friendly interview with them. But what would that be then? Um, because I can be honest and, and friendly at the same time. I can speak truth to power without being unfriendly. And if I was going to be unfriendly towards someone, I just wouldn't have them on. And at some point, you'll realize he hasn't had these people on. Well, there's probably a reason for that. Either they don't want to come on, which could be the, the reason, or I don't think I would be able to maintain that degree of friendliness with them. Good-natured, friendly talk. My fear is that if I did something like that, it would become successful. And then I don't do that clickbaity sort of content. And I don't want the one time that I got into it with a guest to be what everyone watched. Because that's not the majority of what I create here. And I see all kinds of opinions out there. People saying they don't like Pac-Man, but they love Katie Halper. Or they don't like Katie Halper but they love the TYT main main show and the left is a broad spectrum. And our goal here is to pull people further left. I'm not about to begin to figure out why you like somebody and why you don't like somebody. We can talk about it. I could probably relate in a lot of cases, but the point here isn't to bring on who we quote unquote like or, or who we don't like and then let them have it. <clears throat> But it's an honest show, so ah, it's potential that I could say something that someone doesn't appreciate, and we would talk about it. But my goal would be to resolve any conflict, um, but not to avoid it. I want to give my guests questions and discussion that stick with them when they go back to their job. I don't bring people on to do more of what they do. I bring them on to hopefully talk about how and why they do it. And so I want the questions to resonate with them based on their answer. Not just because it was a great question. I'm not giving myself that kind of credit. I'm not that arrogant to think that I'm asking these amazing questions. But the series of questions might have them start talking about things that would continue to resonate with them and keep them thinking later when they're back in front of their own camera doing their own show making their own content. And I think that's interesting. And so here is where we can reach people without being um, confrontational. It's still going to be honest. I mean, it's still going to be good natured. And that's what I think good faith means. If I provide a chance for someone to give an honest answer about how and why they do what they do, then maybe we can urge them more left in some cases. And that should always be the goal of people on the left. Find where you are in the spectrum, look to the right, and bring them on over to, to more left. You may be kind of center left. There's always going to be somebody more to the right. Bring them to the left. And then I'll bring you more to my left, and somebody will bring me more to their left. And then we're all, see what I mean? 
pull people left. That should be the goal. And you can't do that forcefully. But being unfriendly isn't the way to do it. And avoiding certain guests isn't the way to do it either. Interviewing someone is giving them a platform to a degree, but it isn't the same as co-signing all of their takes. Um, advocating for independent online media means covering it from different angles. So this is my, my um, approach. And that doesn't mean that I'm advocating for any one person specifically, if at all. There are people I bring on the show who I agree with across the board. There are people I bring on the show with who I do not agree with a, across the board. It's going to be basically the same interview. It just depends on how they react. And so far, everyone's been the same. It's been, it's been very even keeled. And that I like. This is the nuance I'm missing from this space, okay? When I look at YouTube, I don't see this. And so I'm making it. I'm creating it. You know how they say, well, if you don't like what I do on my channel, make your own channel. Okay, I did. And here it is. This is what I do here. Um, you suggest guests for me to have on, but I choose if I'm going to have them on. And I always take your suggestions into account. In fact, a lot of the people I have coming up were suggested by you all. You come along for the ride, but I'm driving. Uh, we can have fun. We can be serious, but we will not be unfriendly. And above all, we will not be afraid. Because um, friendliness is not a sign of weakness. And um, I don't know if somebody was disrespectful to me. Yeah, the gloves will come off. I'm just that kind of guy. <laughs> But I don't think that's going to happen because it's all in how I invite them on and I make my intentions clear. And so far, after almost 60 interviews, everyone has left um, having gotten something out of it. Me, the guest, and and above all, hopefully, all of you guys who are who are so cool in building up a community around this channel. I'm so grateful. You're always on my mind. I don't do this without considering you all. And so that's why I just want to take a minute, come on a little early tonight and talk about that and get that out of the way. I hope you appreciate it. I'm trying to be as upfront and transparent as possible without ever saying, <clears throat> um, well, something happened and now I got to address it. Nothing happened. 